the second grave we're looking at today actually takes to the heart of occupation and what it means and liberation and what that meant. And if you are observant, you'll see this is again another older grave. We are in section three of the churchyard where most of the graves have been, but we're right at the early end. This is a grave from about 1910, and it's to a, a woman and her husband. Uh, she's a Scottish woman, Finlayson, and he is a Jersey man called Coutolge. And on the side of this grave, he has put, uh, the family have put, in memory of their children who died after them. And quite extraordinarily, on this side, you will read in memory of our younger son, Alexander Coutolge, and then it says Baron Coutolge. And Alexander Coutolge was, he later became Lord Coutolge, started off with no titles, then Sir Alexander, finally Lord Coutolge, because he was the bailiff on this island during the Second World War. He was not buried here, he's buried in St Brellard's. Uh, there are other parish churches in the island, I have to accept that. But he's on this grave because he was born in St Saviour's and his parents here are buried in this plot. So he has a strong link to this parish. And of course, uh, books have been written about his uh, time as bailiff. Not only was he bailiff, uh, he was also, in effect, Lieutenant Governor, because the Lieutenant Governor at the orders of Winston Churchill had left the island before the occupation. So this man, Lord Coutas, represented both the island of Jersey and Her Majesty's government in the United Kingdom. And as I think of him, I think of how impossibly difficult it must have been, the job, protecting the island and islanders, while at the same time almost a contradictory task which was to stand up where necessary to the German occupying authorities. As I say, books have been written about him, very different views are held about him. But I just think uh, what an impossible job he had. He was, by the way, the last bailiff appointed for life. So although, of course, liberation came in 1945, he stayed on as bailiff until 1961. Uh, and I think as we think of him, as we need to think of our government today, whatever our particular views of individual decisions in our difficult times now, nothing like the difficult times of occupation, but still difficult and very difficult decisions. As I think of this man, I just think the huge burden that was on the shoulders of all those who were in positions of great responsibility, but also what a fantastic feeling he must have had in his heart when he was there as bailiff for the liberation of our island on the 9th of May 1945.